everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yes, today, oops, I forgot to put my cigarette out. Sorry about that. I'm just going to put it out now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Today, we are doing, what's inside Tina's makeup bag? A whole bunch of goodies, I can guarantee you that. Yep, this stuff is kind of like falling out of it. This thing is packed. I was using my little white one, but it just wasn't big enough to hold everything that I wanted to put in it. So I switched over to this one again. I got this makeup bag from BoxyCharm a while ago. I'm going to take a nibble. A very small nibble so I don't choke on it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to dig in here and show you what I have in here. Some of the stuff I don't use white right yet, but I plan on using it. Like I have like a couple moisturizers in here. And I plan on using the other moisturizer once the other, the moisturizer I'm using now is gone. That'd be why I have more than one. Yes. Now, of course, now if you saw my come get ready with me, you'll know some of the stuff that's already in here. And one of the things is my... Thingy that I shaved my chinny chin chins with that Mary got me. Yep, they're already starting to grow back. I got my 5 p.m. shadow. <laughs> yep, I got my midnight shadow. My 3.30 at night shadow. <laughs> yep, it is 3.30 in the morning. Yep, I snagged, the, I snagged the hair on that one. I guess it was a really st stiff hair. Yeah. But anyways, I'm not going to be doing makeup again. I just wanted to shave my chin. So it's not prickly and stuff. But yeah, I also have a, my moisturizing cream. A lot of this stuff I did get from BoxyCharm, I do believe. And this one here says Frank Body. And it's smooth. And yeah, it's just a moisturizing lotion. I will put some of that on my little chin, chin, chin. If I can squeeze it just a tad out, because I just want to put it on my chin, where I just shaved it. Yeah, and I don't want no razor bumps popping up or an infected hair or something like that, because they are ugly. Yes. Now, of course, I have my cover up. I always use this cover up. I always get the same color and the same, because I love it. It's, perfect for my skin tone and yeah this one's almost gone but I do have another one for backup which is in my armoire I just hadn't put it in here yet which I probably will soon because it is it is very 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 down to the bottom it's very down to the bottom you can see it better without the thing opened I use the heck out of it yes I do and then I have my primer, Georgette Clinger. And again, I got this in one, a boxy charm box. And in my bedroom, I have a tote that is like filled with makeup. I actually went through it not too long ago and threw away a whole bunch of the makeup that was in it. Stuff that I knew I wouldn't wear. Stuff um, I didn't want. Stuff that's been sitting in there forever. And I had never used it. And so... I just tossed it that way I, I would have more room to put new stuff in and then of course this is actually from um, I think it's from shop miss a no it could be from family dollar or dollar general because it's wet and wild I didn't realize that but I love this highlighter and I wear it all the time I just of course you don't have to use a lot you just, put a little dab on just like I'm doing and it makes my cheeks glow and it looks really well with my skin tone as well yeah eyeliner I like the mechanical pencils I used to use the regular pencils you know the ones that you would have to sharp eventually but I always had issues sharpening them because I would sharpen it and then one side would be sharpened but the other side would like be wood and, I, and then when I tried to fix it, it would just break off <laughs> the, um, the black part of it, you know, the eyeliner part. And so 
when I found out about the mechanical pencils, which I had no idea about, I think I got one in a boxy charm or something, and I was like in heaven. I was like, oh, good. I never have to worry about, you know, ruining my eyeliner again. Because <laughs> instead of trying to sharpen it, I would just throw it away and go out and buy a new one because I couldn't sharpen it. And so I love my mechanical pencils. Yes, I do. Yeah, this one, this here, this is from Shop Miss A. It was a dollar, and it has like that frosty look, which I love. Oh, I just bit my lower lip. <laughs> I just bit my lower lip with my teeth. And it's hard for me to, you know, how you rub your lips together after putting on lipstick. It's hard for me to do that with my teeth. <laughs> but yeah, it's the same. I'm trying to see what color it is. I don't know, but it smells like berries, maybe strawberry. Yeah, it definitely smells like some kind of berry. Maybe watermelon. Is watermelon a berry? I think watermelon is a berry, but I could be wrong by that. And then, of course, my ColourPop palette that I had been searching for, and I found it. Now, you saw the blue on me. I don't even know if it's still on. It might have worn off after all, because I've been wearing it all day. But I haven't, you didn't see the purple one, which I'll put on the back of my hand so you could see it. Here's the purple one. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I will wear that one eventually when I do my makeup. And also, when I was going through this bag to see what was in it, I stumbled upon my palette. I bought this palette off Wish. And I actually bought some new stuff off Wish. I bought a couple hair toppers. And I bought this thing where you, you can do it yourself and you can pierce your nose. So my honey is going to help me pierce my nose. I'm going to put it right here. Yes, I'm going to be daring. I've always wanted to get my nose pierced. And so 50 years old, I'll finally get it done. And so, yeah, I'm, he's saying you should do it in your video. I'm like, I don't think people would want to see that. Maybe like cringing. Ow. I know I would be. I wouldn't want to see it. I wouldn't want to watch somebody do that because it'd just be cringe. Yeah, but I love these colors. They're glittery. And I like use the white. I like put it like right here and my right there by the, the center of my eyeball. Just to, I got like crud in my sleepers, I guess you'd call them. Yeah, that's usually what I did with the white. But, yeah, you can see I've used some of them, not the darker colors, but I have used the lighter colors, and I love them. And then, of course, you know this one, my old standby. I love the purple. It took me forever to figure out where I had bought it from because I was looking... Um, Dollar General, I was looking Dollar Tree, I was looking Family Dollar, and anytime I would go there, I would check it thinking, you know, they just didn't, didn't have it at the time, maybe they would have it next time I went, and I don't know how many times I went to those stores looking for this palette, and then I happened to be, you know, putting together a haul video from Shop Miss A, and I stumbled upon it, and oh my goodness, I was so happy, I was so happy because my purple that I love using was almost gone. So, yeah, that is the story of my favorite eyeshadow. Yes. And it's just a makeup brush. Obviously one that I got from one of my BoxyCharm videos. And then one of these is from BoxyCharm. And then the other one is from Family Dollar. I think this one here that's newer I can actually use my finger and get some out and put on my face. Yeah, I'm going to double up on the blush. Yeah, but yeah, I got this one at Family Dollar. And it's just as nice as the one I got from BoxyCharm. So this one here, it just op it flips open. It doesn't unscrew. But I think they're pretty much the, the same color. Kind of, well, this one looks a little bit more pinky. But yeah, I do prefer the blush that, you know, the cream blush where you use your finger and put it on and stuff. 
because it just gets, you know, it shows up better in my opinion and it wears better. And it, that is just my opinion on the cream blush. Yes. Now here's one. This is um, this is a primer. I thought it was a moisturizer, but it is a primer. And I got this from BoxyCharm. And yeah, I have used it, but it's it's like a um, like a cream, obviously. It smells like roses. I'm not a big fan of rose scented you know, perfumes, cosmetics, you know, potpourri and that kind of stuff, but, uh, oh no, that's just from the eyeshadow I had on my hand. I was like, oh, it has glitter in it. <laughs> but no, that is from the eyeshadow that I had on the back of my hand. But also with this here, it feels like really, really cool. And so when they put it on your face, it's just, I don't know, it just feels really good because it's cool. Because even on the back of my hand right now, it's, just, it's got like that chilling feeling on it. And it feels really good. Now this is something I have in here. And it's a palette that I got from BoxyCharm, obviously. And the only reason I have it in here is for this eyeshadow right here. And I'm just going to rub some on the back of my hand so you can see it. Isn't that pretty? Let me turn back my computer back on so you're getting the extra light from my monitor. So you can see the color on the back of my hand better. There we go. Can you see it better now? Can you see it better? Not really. <laughs> Not really. I'm sorry the lighting sucks. It is, you know, nighttime. It is nighttime and everybody's asleep but me. Well, actually the kids are awake still because their sleeping patterns are just as messed up as mine. Yes, they are. I bought this here. I think I got this palette off, um, trying to think what they're called. And I can't think of it. Yeah, I can't think of the name. If, if I can remember the name, I'll put it right here. But it's another place you could buy, um, makeup and stuff from they're expensive and i hope i remember what they what they're called but anyways yeah i got this here because they had all these beautiful shimmers and they have like this beautiful pink purples corals and you know just colors that are just so pretty i couldn't help myself and i hadn't even used it yet as you can see it is still brand new but eventually, I will dig in. You know, look at this one here. It's like a, it looks almost like a coral. You see it? Can you see it? It's right here. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty, but like I said, I haven't worn any of them yet. But I will eventually. And, oh, I have another mechanical pencil. I have two, three of them all together in here. I guess when one so run, what is it, it, it? If one runs out, I'll have backup. Sometimes I like to put the black on the top lid, and then I'll put the blue, which is this one right here. I'll put the blue on the. Am I turning it the right way? Am I turning it the right way? Yep, there it goes. And it's a very pretty blue that's almost gone that's up that's up all the way so it shows you how much I've been using it but yeah that was from a box of charms well and then here's another thing from uh, shop miss a you would have seen it in the come get ready with me I had used it as an eye primer I'm just seeing if my um, my mirror was out and I don't see it on the table or it's hidden. But I'm just going to bring it closer and you can see if it's worked well at keeping the eyeshadow on it. Because I can't, I can't see it. But when I'm editing, editing, <laughs> is that even a word, editing? When I'm editing the video, I'll be able to see then. If it has held up. 
yes we shall see and I have this mascara I don't wear mascara very often I don't even know if this is waterproof I have learned in my old age that to stop it from like running underneath your eyes from like sweater or whatever you need a waterproof mascara and I'm sure this is not waterproof because every time I wear it it ends up like down here so I need to get me some waterproof mascara yes I do and the last thing in here I think I'm just checking real quick yeah okay the last thing in here is this one and this is um no I think I got this one from BoxyCharm maybe I don't remember but it is definitely darker I can't see anything I'm doing so if I just made if my lips look really crappy right now it's because I'm blind. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, it's kind of one. The one problem with darker lipsticks is it'll get on my my teeth, and because I can't see the camera very well, I'll do like the whole video with lipstick on my teeth and not even realize it until I get to the editing part. So, but yeah, that is everything. That is inside my makeup bag. I got like, I don't know how many palettes in here. One, two, three, five palettes in here. For some unknown reason, I must think I'm, I'm going to, you know, get really good at makeup and use like almost every color of the rainbow to do my eyeshadow, which will never happen. I'm 50 years old, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. No, 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 no. I'll be the first to admit it. Nope, you can't teach me any new tricks. You could try, but you'll fail. <laughs> but, yep, that is it. That is everything in my makeup bag. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe here. will be this face. You can click on it if you would like to subscribe. Up here will be a playlist of something similar to what you just watched. Here will be a video that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. So, thank you so very much again, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Just hands. Bye.